Welcome everybody to my channel. Today I am changing my minimalist productivity setup into my ultimate gaming and streaming station. The minimalist setup behind me is being powered by the M2 MacBook Pro running through a CalDigit TS3, powering an LG 27 inch and the LG C2. There's also a Matrix Audio Mini i Pro behind this that's pushing the Canto Took speakers along with an Audient ID4 interface. So again, very bare bones, very minimalist, strictly here temporarily. And again, this is gonna be the permanent gaming and streaming setup of this entire newly renovated office. So let's get to it. First, we're gonna have to start clearing off the entire area, take off all the components that are currently on the table, whether or not I wanna keep them there. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna take the monitors down. They're probably gonna stay exactly where they're, uh, where they're currently at right now. But then we start bringing in the core components of the gaming build. And then once that's in place, we can start managing the cables. And then hopefully, everything turns out and starts working. Okay, so one of the first problems that you have when you're not paying attention to how you're running cables is that even with very few components and peripherals, if you're not cognizant of how you're gonna run those cables, it becomes a mess very, very quickly. There's not a ton, there's maybe three or four different components. And when you take a look down here, because I didn't plan on how to run it and just kind of haphazardly connected things it becomes not only aesthetically not pleasing but the other problem that comes along with it is it starts to attract the dust that ends up piling up on the floor and then you won't be able to clean it because as you can see and because of that it doesn't allow you to properly dust and clean in the area where you're about to have your pcs and all the other components we're going to go ahead and address that first take everything off of the desk and then take everything out from underneath here, let it be clear, and then we'll start planning the cable management as soon as the entire area is clear of any components, cables, whatever else is down here. So now that we've cleared off the entire bottom, the only cables left are the power cables from the monitors, which obviously we're not gonna be taking down. But if you take a look, so as you can see, right, in those areas that have the most rat's nest, you can see where the dust just accumulates. I try to do a pretty good job. If you take a look here, the more clear area, clear but as soon as you get here to where all those cables were kind of nesting around and accumulating you can kind of tell where all the dust starts to settle so again one of the reasons why you want cable management is obviously not just because of aesthetic reasons but it also keeps your area nice and clean and obviously any peripherals that you may have down there doesn't get exposed to all of that gunk All right guys, let's spend some time now that the top of the desk and the bottom are completely cleared off to kind of walk through the components. And let's start with the streamer PC. So this is a Corsair Vengeance i9 12,900KS with a 3090Ti. I know, I know, completely overkill for a streaming PC, but that was my old daily driver, so it's been relegated to the streaming spot. The new gaming rig is the Corsair i9 13,900KS with a NVIDIA 4090 inside of it powering the GPU. So it is the main workhorse from a gaming perspective. The main brains of the unit is gonna be Rode's new Streamer X. It's kind of their first foray into both audio and video interfacing. Next is the Stream Deck from Elgato, Stream Deck Plus. It's gonna end up controlling basically all the components in the gaming setup that we have here, all the lights, all the peripherals, whatnot. Obviously there's a PS5 here for all the console gaming and that has to run through an Elgato HD60X. Now for the fun part, as you may or may not know, I'm a huge audiophile. So from a headphone perspective, I, I had to go with, with the best. Again, way overkill. You don't need to have something this elaborate, but we are going with the Sennheiser HD800S as kind of the cans that we're using for the headphone setup. You can't see it, but the Shure SM7B is kind of behind there somewhere. Again, it was part of my podcast setup. It's it's tried and true. Sure, SM7B is gonna be running with the Sennheiser HD800S into the Streamer X from a headphone and microphone standpoint. From an input perspective, we're going with the GMMK Pro from Glorious. I love the feel of their switches and I think it'll be a great complement to the entire setup. Mouse. Really can't go wrong with the new Logitech G502X. It's great, what can I say? From a camera perspective, we're going with the Sony ZV-E10. And obviously with that, you're gonna need all kinds of lighting. So we're gonna have a few of these Elgatos also hung 
as well. And that's it. Again, we're gonna go and, and place them, stand them up, put them in the places where they're gonna belong. We're not gonna put any cables yet. We just wanna see how the fitment looks. I wanna be able to understand how I'm gonna run the wires, how I'm gonna put the cable management and the power management. We'll go from there. All right, so check this out. I have these really cool cable management baskets from Amazon. Hang this in the back of the desk. You put your power supply in there because again, you want to try to run as many things off of the ground as possible. This allows you to do that and still accommodate basically a full size multi plug out. So as you can see, what this tray allows you to do is run the cable from the PC up to this cable tray and now it's off the floor. So it's a really cool little gadget, super cheap. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put the links down below so you can go and cop it. Okay, so I'm generally pretty pleased with the components in the basement, the streaming, the gaming PC, as well as the subwoofer. We got their lines run and plugged in and the cable trays are now doing what it's supposed to, keeping things off the ground. If you take a look, you can kind of see there's a little bit more cleanup work that we have to do, but we really can't do any of those finishing touches until we start to get all of the remaining wires so I can understand what best, how best to run them and theoretically camouflage them. But again, the goal here is nothing's on the ground, right? That, that's what you want to avoid. And I think we've done at this point a pretty good job so far. So more work to do, but in general, I think we're off to a good start. Okay, it's been about three and a half hours. I am completely soaked, exhausted. This is why people don't cable manage their stuff. It's a lot of hard work in cramped spots, weird contortions of your body, trying to fiddle with wires and, and cable wraps, and it's, and it's not easy. So anyway, I think we're in a good spot though. I think the remaining parts are just the simple parts, the easy parts. So again, come take a look underneath here, right? So you can see nothing on the floor really, my light there. We have the extra extension cord. Everything is standing, standing, hanging, I guess, on the cable trays. I'm, I'm very pleased. Like I said, a lot of hard work getting underneath there, but I think we're, we're at the home stretch. Holy crap, I am exhausted. That took about five hours, five hours, a full five hours. <laughs> This is why people don't do this too often. So anyway, we got everything up. It's, as you can see, vertical is being powered by the Corsair with the 390. The LG is being powered by the Corsair that has the 4090. We have the PS5 set up. It's running into the uh, capture card of the HD60X, which is then going into the course here with the 3090. That's all good. I'm gonna be checking OBS at some point. All the speakers are connected to the course here with the 3090, which is ostensibly the streaming PC. The audio I have to work on for the Streamer X. I got Unify downloaded. It's new to me, so I don't know how that software works. I'm gonna have to fiddle around with that. Sure, SM7B is set up. It's running into the Streamer X. We also have the Stream Deck Plus connected. I have this power mat from Logitech that we have connected. And and the glorious GMMK is hooked up as well along with the Matrix Mini i Pro. And I'm quite proud of the lack of rat's nest underneath this thing. Now, that's what took, let's say, 90, 95% of the time but I think it's well worth the investment. It's very easy to clean down there. I still have to tag them um, so that I can know which plugs go to which you know, component. So when I have to swap something out, it's a lot easier to identify. But by and large, I'm extremely happy. This won't be the full tour video. I just wanted you guys to kind of see what it takes and it takes a lot to do this properly. Uh, and again, going from a very minimal setup to what I would consider to be a fairly complex setup. Again, there's probably more complex setups out there, but this one for me in general is very complex. So again, I appreciate this. I'm going to go and do a lot more um, installations if for or uh, Steam, all the games that I want to play and stream. And uh, thanks for joining me. Like I said, it's a, it was a project, basically half a day project, uh, but it was well worth it. I think I'll be able to get a lot out of this. Obviously, this will be the streaming setup from, from now on. And obviously I'll be doing a lot more gaming on it as well. So thanks for joining. I'll check you out next time. Peace.